fresh titties on. On the V2, just going over final checks here on the stand. Um, Sean's doing a great job of that. Uh, been working at it all morning, so. Got the eyes across the tees. I think this is gonna be a pretty good uniform track tonight. We've got uh, overcast, overcast weather, so that always means it hangs on a bit better, and it's pretty much perfect temperature to race tonight. Uh, a little bit of weather looming around a little bit, but probably not gonna be too bad. Um, let's go dead gum within a reasonable hour. Bit of shower done here, so sort it of doesn't hang on too long. But anyway, let's go up and have a quick look at the track. So usual story here, it's sort of the bottom is really good. Um, and the middle usually goes pretty quick. And it's sort of looking that the way tonight actually is a bit more less consistent than I expected looking up close. So you can sort of see it's a bit lighter tinge here. Uh, that's probably gonna go away pretty quick. Um, it's actually still got a lot of moisture in it. Um, so yeah, we've got pooled water on the bottom, fairly shiny. So there's a fair bit there. Usually uh, they dig about a bit deep, deeper on the bottom and it's a lot softer. So that sort of hangs on all night. Uh, I, I think it's not a good thing for the wingles, but I think why they do that here is so it doesn't lay rubber. Um, and I'll give them full credit here. This joint is probably one of the nicest tracks in Australia on tires. Um, oh, it's actually really nice and soft in the middle here, but once again, it's sort of, I don't know if this is just because of the pit entry, it crowns off a little bit. Oh, it's Mitchell Broom Motorsports, hello. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's dug fairly deep here too. You can see how far they've dug it. Like, I'm not using a screw, I'm using a heel, it's fairly, fairly in there. Um, yeah, hopefully it sort of hangs the top on, that's the hardest thing, it's getting that bottom slow enough, or the, because it's not really the top getting any faster, it's sort of a long way around regardless. But yeah, we've done enough laps here, have enough, have enough notes with other cars to sort of figure out what it's going to do and help the V2 guys as much as we can. Starting out fifth in my first heat, uh, pretty heavy hitters in front of us still from up here. Uh, I don't really know who I'm racing with a lot of the time, but nothing new from my whole story this year. Uh, Anyway, let's see how we go. Jeez, <laughs> right out. Goodwin, last time out here, he was uh, certainly fast and won the night. Can he go one better again and win the Australian title this weekend? We are underway, the KRG SMPS number 75. <laughs> Robinson through the one two turn. Hobson having another good look. Robinson trying to get an invite to the party as they swing through three and four underneath the tower. Good one's out of there. He's gone. This is the battle on screen for those at home. It's 
through the 3-4 turn. Joyce having a ripper start to the night. Leading over Todd Hobson, Andrew Robinson now just getting dropped off a little bit. Still the battle with uh, Butcher, Eggins and Wheel. One lap to run, 400 metres on the clayway for Bailey Goodwin. Down the back straight under the Rockley truck parts. Across the line for second, Anthony Joyce will be third. Andrew Robinson from Michael Butcher, Luke Wheel. Dave Eggins is the next one. Alan Woods, Jason Davis, Brett Hare, and Dylan Seely is. That was good. Um, we got so lucky. To got, the real hitter in front of me was Dave Eggins in that 71 car, right in front of me on the start. He was my most worry in that heat, uh, just because he was in front of me. He just got bottled up at the start and we just capitalised. He did a perfect move. Um, yeah. Cheers, buddy. Um, yeah, she's muddy. Let's just say that. I think you did that. My next job. There, we got Juddy again helping out. Thank you the YouTube channel as well. Uh, he's my chief mud scraper when I come up here. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna, we're down the back this next one. We're going to do a gear change just to make sure we can sort of get revved up in traffic. We're probably a bit doughy there, but we're sort of just lucky I could keep it wound up with the tyres through a bit of the wet stuff. But the tracks is getting better and better. Uh, yeah, deep heat, good heat next one. Let's see how we go. Trev, respect for each other on the racetrack. Lights are out, we're set to go this time by...
Seven laps left to run for the TDG pilot. Battle at the moment is three, four, five, six, and seven on the racetrack. Todd Hobson trying to get the V2 to get a little bit further forward. Oh, Davis, problems. He slows coming out of four. Bates leads. The TGM pilot leads the way here in Brisbane in heat race number nine. Okay, so there we go. So the four got the flag. So Davis thought he was uh, in trouble. Flagman gave the car the wrong flag. Hence why Batesy inherited the lead. Davis slowed down to uh, readdress. And he will now go back to the front. So the NX4 machine. As JD picks it up where he left off, he'll lead Bates down into the one-two turn. Davis back there in second. Oh, problems again for the four. He slows coming out of two. Bates. Irons, O'Toole, Davis. Check it, flag at the ready. And Bates gets the win. Irons home for second over Ian O'Toole and Casey O'Connell. Kirby Hillier with Todd Hobson. Christopher Temby with Jason Davis, Mitchell Allen, Lockie Robinson and Chris Catchpole gets... Couldn't do much there really. Was it bouncing on the tyre or bouncing on the shock? It was it just, it did, you didn't... Hard. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, think we might, I think we fucking um, just missed that. It was alright. Hey? It was alright. Yeah. Still had to warn the tyre. Yeah. I thought we were going to start. Oh no, don't wear it. It will keep the tits on all night. Yeah, it's got just taken the tits off of there. Or just about. How much is the five off measure to? Pardon? How much is the five off method measure to? Oh, I haven't mounted it. The bottom's just going to get better. Yeah. It's getting better. Right, I think that's where we're going to end up. But Kirby's not just, just not going to make a mistake, you know? I was trying to see, I know he got him once or twice, but he just can't get a run off through the shit. Yeah. And he knows that. Oh, that was good then. Bit sketchy, but look, we did what we can. Uh, bit shady that first start didn't come up because we got two or three cars on the start, but I think we picked up about the same volume the next time around. But um, yeah, uh, this track's just one lane and really hard to pass. It's sort of not, it's not really one lane, it's just narrow. So, um, Anyway, seven, six is good. Six is good. You have to remember we're doing a three heat four, mate. You afford one shit. You want to get in, Scotty? How are you, mate? Yeah, what's going on? Scotty did good then. The, um, where'd you come? I uh, started fourth and got second. So oh, I'm, uh, I'm actually pretty happy. Yeah, you, look pretty, you look pretty wore out. Yeah. <laughs> it was ten fast laps. Yeah, yeah mate. It was pretty treacherous too. Uh, we were biked it a few times. and yeah. bit faster than drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say what else it's like drawing, but let's leave it with that. Good work, mate. Good on you, mate. Number 15 underway, and it is Todd Hobson. Hollywood out front in the V2. Sweeps and through, turns three and four, and across the stripe. Oh, one right up against the fence, but they stay green. Hobson leads Jaden O'Toole and Casey O'Connell, putting the pressure on O'Toole. Back. 
Lauren, move forward. It's red. Yeah, you can move up a bit, mate. What's that? You can move up a little bit. You're all good there, mate. Scott Irons rounding out the top five. Lockie Robinson on the outside looking in with Dylan Seely, Jason Davis and Ben Manson rounding out the finishes. Yeah, he, he loves his speedway, doesn't he? he drive, like you said, he'd drive a broken wheelbarrow. But, um, yeah, no, of course, uh, fondly remembered for winning uh, the PB44 up here in the V8 Dirt Waterford. And he'll come and join you in victory lane, my friend. It's Patrick... Auto spares. Well, Toddy, welcome back to Victory Lane. Yeah, um, hoping it's a bit more familiar this weekend than it's been in the last video I had here. It was pretty horrendous, but um, that's how the cookie crumbles. We had a great time. Um, track shaping out really treacherous tonight. It actually looks really good. We just got to free ourselves right up. Mate, uh, not sure if you're going to make tonight's preliminary A main, but uh, be good if you can. I'll easily make it. I think we're sitting pretty good in points about first, second, and a six, so. We should be pretty good and yeah, just keep knocking laps off, free the car up and we should be right. Oh, that was good. That sealed a uh, pretty much now, not perfect night, but very good night for the circumstances we have here at Archfield. So the lack of uh, opportunity to pass, but um, this car loves rotating. So I thought I'm just going to rotate the bottom like I would in America. And I did that in three and four, probably one of the tidiest. So it's probably better to beat the boards down, but I didn't trust the car up there. It was a bit wavy. We got the wind done, good points. Uh, can you see where we start? We've had really good draw, uh, results tonight. We've had the first, second, and the sixth. That'll put us really good, uh, considering there has been a lack of passing, a bit of carnage, and all that. So, can you see where we end up? Uh, the typical uh, Archfield uh, farm in here, pretty much. I think what it's, it's very sticky stuff here. Um, I think it's pretty much just gonna pretty much rip all this up. Look at the squelching. Look at that. It's still a lot of moisture. I think it's just gonna sort of, looks like it's just trying to get rid of the holes down, soften it all back up, pack it all back down. But it sort of curved up a bit too early. Um, I'm not even game to touch it, that's how I feel right now. I ran the bottom and felt really good down there. Just you know, buried off the fence, rolled it, you know, buried off the fence here and just ran it straight down to that apex there. And just had to miss that slime, that's the hardest thing I hear at the moment. But um, yeah, I felt really good on the bottom, but I don't think that's gonna be where we're gonna win it. Um, could do it in lap traffic, it's just, 
Everyone's about the same speed, especially up front, so it's really hard to sort of wind up. Um, anyway, we're gonna sort of see where we're starting and go from there. Oh, we had the pit gate just here, okay? Go! 
Scott Thompson starting to slice up Jolly. Jolly goes to the top. Thompson, has he got enough? Not this time on the entry to three and four laps. One down five to run. Jolly gets a gap about two and a half, three car lengths down the back straight. Into the three, four, turn one more time. Hobson having a look at the Q1 tail tank. screwed it up but uh we're right into maintenance now uh we still should be about second in points i think i'm not 100 percent sure should be still second or third but man, this thing was solid at the end of that race I, I think it's just me i'm a bit of a closer in that respect i sort of just go everywhere at the start try to figure out where i run and then i'll always find the best bit of track at the end or well, the best bit that works for me anyway uh, we gave the top a few guys but it was just so treacherous uh we felt very comfortable on the bottom but and, and uh, Jacob was making mistakes, like we've seen him make a couple of mistakes there with a couple to go. But uh, yeah, me and Scotty were hounding him ready to go, so super clean race. Um, yeah, can't complain about that. And go on, give her, give her a tub, some maintenance, and go again tomorrow. Tomorrow's 